I think I made a baby AGI, but what does that even look like? So how is this different from everything else? It's really just automation in Python plus generative AI agents. And because I'm about helping business owners really understand like the tech behind this, I'm gonna use this comparison because I think it's the best way to get this point across. So uh, as humans, like most humans, don't really ask questions and then they use linear decisions that are outlined for them to come to the end of the equation, right? In automation plus machine learning, we had questions and then we had like solution paths with branches. This baby AGI that I made, it's given a question or set of questions and then it's given choices and then it's told like if you're going to use this data this is how you get to that data or this is where you can find that data so it's not completely agi but it's like a baby agi and my question is is a cub still a bear yeah does a toddler walk by itself at first no you like help it along first right so that's that's why i'm calling it a baby agi because it is like making its own decisions without a decision tree, hence the Monte Carlo door frames there. AGI will be different because you, you'll be able to give it a question, and at least in this explanation, right? Who knows? But uh, you'll give it a question, and then it's going to have all the info ever that it might need, and then it's going to decide how to put all of that together. So it will no longer need like these little helper I guess, tools, functions, whatever you want to call them, um, to be able to come to the end of its equation or to draw its conclusion. A SI or artificial super intelligence, in my opinion, is it's going to decide its own questions and it's going to find its answers in ways that we can't even conceive. So again, like the difference here is that this baby AGI is already agentically making its own decisions. I am not telling it like, you need, to, you need to do it this way, you need to do it that way. I'm just saying like, here's my question, like do what you gotta do, here's the way to, to get what you need. So in a nutshell, this is like nothing fancy. It's nothing different from what other uh, people are putting content out about. It's just using agents to do things. So it's not, it is really actually like a swarm of agents, um, but all it is is just like different callbacks to the LLM. And the way that I made this happen is that I actually used synthetic data. So I put in code in Python, a way to create synthetic data. Um, that the LLM has access to in case it needs to make more data. And then I also put in some Python automation so it knows how to extract the data that it might need on its own. And the synthetic data isn't just like random information. I used perplexity actually to help me um, find some information really quickly on the rates of pets that end up in shelters after their owners pass away. And this was an idea of a business model that was given to me by my dog's veterinarian who went to the same university I did for one of my undergrads at Texas A&M. Uh, and it's a, basically just a use case. And if you want to look at the code, um, please find me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, um, it's under Elsa Data Sci is my LinkedIn name. And I will put you in the private GitHub repo. Um, because yeah, I'm not just gonna put that out there. I'm sure anybody can replicate it. And it's using Stream Streamlit and Python um, with a fake database backend to avoid having to pay <laughs> for like a snowflake or something. Um, and it also can be run in localhost. So you don't have to like pay for any compute other than what your local machine uses. And the reason I'm doing this or I do do any of this is um, it's all about the dogs for me. So um, yeah, it's like soul's purpose, right? Uh, bring dog kind closer to mankind. And I guess some dogs like cats. So, you know, we're bringing the cats along. And yeah, that's why I did this.